Hello children, it's good to be back once again to be here with you. I'm so happy for what God is doing into your lives. But before we continue, I would like us to first pray. Lord, we thank you for this time and uh, we thank you for all the things that you've been doing in our lives. Father Lord, we ask you that as we study together, you prepare our hearts and minds to receive whatever you would learn. And Lord, we pray that uh, we put it into action. In your name I pray. Amen. Last week, Teacher Ruth helped us to learn to wait on God. And we looked at a very old man called Zechariah, the priest, and his wife Elizabeth, who are very old. They lived a happy life, but they did not have a child. They prayed and prayed and prayed day and night until one day when the Lord sent an angel to Zechariah to tell him that the Lord had answered their prayer. Now this week's main truth is that God has a purpose for our lives, my life and your life. And it's coming from what the angel said to Zechariah from the book of Luke chapter 1 from verse 11 to 17. So let's sit and listen carefully. Now the angel of the Lord appeared to Zechariah standing on the right of the altar where incense was burnt. When Zechariah saw him, he was alarmed and felt afraid. But the angel said to him, Don't be afraid, Zechariah. God has heard your prayer and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son. You are to name him John. How glad and happy you will be and how happy many others will be when he is born. He will be a great man in the Lord's sight. He must not drink any wine or strong drink. From his very birth, he will be filled with the Holy Spirit and he will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. He will go ahead of the Lord, strong and mighty, like the prophet Elijah. He will bring fathers and children together again. He will turn disobedient people back to the way of thinking of the righteous. He will get the Lord's people ready for him. You see, Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth were going to have a baby boy. And this boy was going to be a very special child. The angel said they were to name him John. And when the time came and the baby was born, Zechariah and Elizabeth were very, very happy. And the boy grew up to be John the Baptist. Children, you see the people of Israel at that time were waiting for Jesus to come. And finally, Jesus was almost here. So when John the Baptist grew up, he went everywhere telling everyone that Jesus is finally here. He is coming. You need to repent of your sins and turn to God. By the way, children. If you remember last week's lesson, Elizabeth and Mary, the mother of Jesus, were cousins. Now, which means Jesus and John are also what? Cousins. Now, children, what does this story teach us about God? Yes, God answers prayers. Uh-huh. Yes. Nothing is too hard for God. And yes, like John, God has a purpose for my life. Uh -huh. So let's see what from our story, what was the special purpose God was going to give John? You see in verse 16 that we read, John was going to bring back the people of Israel to the Lord their God. And in verse 17, John was to prepare the people to be ready to receive Jesus who was going to save them all from their sins. How many of us know traffic lights? How many colors are there? Yes, three. Red, orange or amber, and green. And red tells us to stop, and the green one tells us to go. But now what? does the orange one tell us to do? Yes, 
it tells us to get ready. And at school, when it is time for break, we hear the what? The bell ring. When it's time for lunch, when it's time to go back to class, when it's time to go back home, what do they do? They ring the bell and all of us run to get out of the class, isn't it? Now, just like the orange on the traffic lights and the bell that we hear, that is exactly what John was doing. He was telling the people, Jesus is coming! So children, do you think God has a purpose for your life? And if yes, are you walking in the purpose God has for your life? I'll let you answer that. But for this week, our memory verse will come from the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 28, which says, We know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, those whom he has called according to his purpose. So may the good Lord help us to walk in his purposes as we walk this week. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for loving us and for the gift of life. Lord, we ask you that uh, we continue to do whatever you made us for, and that is to praise you, Lord, and to do everything to obey you. In your name I pray. Amen. Bye-bye.